How's it going? Got a few projects on the go today. One is I'm um, considering now this battery is one of my options to power the three kilowatt motor and uh, speed controller as it's the perfect voltage right the way it is as it sits don't have to do any work that is um, about 50% charged these are 3.6 volt cells they are at 3.3 volts right now so if I fully charged it it'd be literally perfect voltage for the setup they're a little heavier because they are lithium uh, like they're a hard shell they're not lithium ion they're lithium phosphate but uh, something like that anyways but it works really well so I'm considering that and we're gonna try and put this uh, parrot battery inside my working parrot and see if I can jam 140 amp hours into it I'll update you guys as I go but I got two identical batteries I gotta shorten all these spacers and uh, I guess so I can fit two of these in there. There you go, that's one side done. See how nice and flush it is? If I can get both sides like that, I can easily get that battery fit in that side. Now I have 140 amp power uh, power it, which pretty much blows everything out of the water versus when it comes to portable power like the Goal Zero I think has a SID lead acid that's 100 amp hours which still produces less usable power than this um, 70 amp hour lithium polymer because you can use the full power out of a lithium polymer you can't use the full power out of a SID lead acid so they're kinda these batteries are good in solar applications stationary when you're only using 20, 30, 40 percent out of them but the second you start using 100%, they don't last very long, and that's where these batteries do. Uh, they'll last probably like 10 times longer when you're using the full capacity all the time. It may be more, maybe like 50 times longer. But anyways, thanks for watching. What a mess. Broken plastic everywhere. And I was able to get this nice flushly mounted, and I got this one nice and flushly mounted. Now I've got to connect the voltage points and the main power coming out to each pack and then put it back together. Guys, I finally finished the new 140 amp hour lithium powered battery generator. There we go. Two batteries fit quite nicely, almost perfect actually. Um, the gap is all closed. Uh, it sandwiched them in nice and tight. I put the original battery protectors on both sides. And, as you can see, it works. Let's run something. Let's see what it uh, dips down to. They're not completely, completely charged. Like if I plugged it in, oh, excuse me. Oh, if I plugged it in, it would charge right now, but it's charged enough. Let's see. Alright, so we're all plugged up, plugged in, and ready to go. Turn that on so you guys can see. Display and. And there we are. Awesome. It works. Well, if anybody has two of these things and they only want to carry one around, they want the capacity of two, that's how you do it. It's pretty easily done. Bunch of plastic uh, cutting and breaking on the inside just to make room. But after that, like, there we go. It's quite heavy now. It's, it's almost twice the weight as it was before. I would say, I don't know, I would say it's at least 50 pounds. I'd say about, well, maybe not. No, that's a lie. Maybe 40 pounds at the most. But uh, yeah, all done. I'll be using that next weekend.